All right. For all you uh, folks that are running MetaTrader with uh, expert advisors or perhaps you're using uh, TradeStation or NinjaTrader, and especially if you're using it in some kind of automated trading uh, mode, I'm going to show you why you should not be doing it from your desktop and you should be doing it from a virtual private server or virtual machine. Uh, this is pretty amazing, so check this out. So I'm going to show you a speed test directly from my existing um, computer. So here we go. You'll see I have really good internet connection here though. No, no issue with speed. And so, you know, it's, it's all looking very good. But we're going to look at the final, final results, not just the speed, but also the uh, ping uh, latency. So five, okay, this is, oh, it changed. This is five millis milliseconds, which is, that's good. The last time I ran it, it actually said 12, so that's uh, improved. But now let's take a look at my virtual, uh, virtual machine that's running on a Microsoft Azure um, cloud service. The numbers are pretty significant. All right, you see that like right away. You're like, whoa, <laughs> that's quick. And this is with a, a low end processor too, because you have a lot of options when you sign up for a cloud service of what you can ask for. And so you can see one millisecond. That is why you shouldn't be running any of these trading softwares directly from your desktop. Not to mention, you're not going to have the same level of issues with, um, you know, local machine crashes, uh, desktop issues, wanting to update, all of that. Not to mention, for me, I don't have that issue because I'm running all of this on a Chromebook. And so the virtual machine makes even more sense for me because it allows me to run any Windows application and... Uh, do it uh, safely from the cloud. There is a, a cost associated with it, but a lot of these services like either Google Cloud or Microsoft Azure cloud service, you can get the first 12 months for free. And then after that, it can range from anywhere from like 10 bucks a month to $120 a month, depending on how much memory and processing power you want. And uh, so anyway, this is, uh, this is just to show you how much better it is when you can run something off of a virtual machine, how much faster it is. So anyway, hope this helps you for anyone that's out there trying to uh, maybe even have an older machine and it's being taxed by trying to install some of these uh, trading softwares and running uh, too many scripts on it or um, auto traders that it's kind of bogging their system down and they're worried about internet outages or power outages, all the above. Uh, this is a great way just to alleviate that. So anyway, check it out and I hope this helps.